हाय फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेल यू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑपरेशंस इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल देयर इज अ थर्ड पार्टी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑपरेशंस आल्सो पीपल कॉल समटाइम्स सो बिफोर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज थर्ड पार्टी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग many times the industry who has their own licenses who has their own dozier filing and registered the product in particular country they are selling with their own brand names okay and sometimes the product is manufactured and sell with the other person's name or with the other company's name that is called as the third party manufacturing suppose a each the uh, a party is the contract giver and b party is the contract acceptors so how to proceed in this scenario though the person is new fresher or maybe experienced many people have doubt about the third party manufacturing so today i will clear your all the doubts how to handle third party manufacturing operations my name is kiran bambalkar 25 years experience in the pharmaceutical industry more than 100 countries i have handled i am a lean six sigma master black belt and post graduate in the science stream so i know oh, and i will guide you how to handle the third party manufacturing operations if suppose you are giving any order to the any uh, third party manufacturers first you have to make the agreement agreement that is called as the technical agreement in that technical agreement each and everything is recorded and mentioned what is the role of the contract acceptor and what is the role of the contract giver so you have to be very clear about your role what you have to do and what the activity to be performed by the contract acceptors so contract acceptors role is that the technical technical role is that the qualified vendors he has to use the qualified vendors so qualified vendors means each and every vendor of the raw material packaging material he has to be validated approved and used with the confirmation of the contract acceptors that is called as the qualified vendors okay those vendors are already regulated market they are working in the regulated market they are to be uh, certified vendors and you have to take the material with them uh, as per the contract acceptors conditions there are the all the conditions to be recorded in the agreement what is to be followed by the contract acceptor and what is to be accepted by the contract giver like that from a to z beginning like that transportation if contract acceptor has uh, mentioned that he will deliver the product in the uh, cold storage so he has to follow all the rules and regulation and he should not deviate the contract agreement and contract giver should give each and every step wise guidance or the uh, recording to the contract acceptor like that each and everything should be mentioned what the specification to be there for raw material like api specification excipient specification and your packaging material specification you are even you are uh, shipper uh, labels cartons uh, bottles packaging whatever the material is there each and everything should be recorded and uh, approved specification even though uh, the contract acceptor should mention each and every qms things and notify to the contract acceptors because if any deviation change control or out of specification happened with the product contract acceptor should intimate to the contract giver if contract giver is aware about any major deviation then if the product goes into the market and any major complaint comes contract giver will be in the problem so contract giver should be very clear and he should aware about all the things whatever uh, the things has given by the contract giver so contract giver should be very clear and he has to give each and everything uh, to the contract acceptor in the clear communication their communication should be clear and recorded with the email pattern so without the approval of contract giver contract acceptors cannot do any pre dated post dated uh, manufacturing plan so he has to be very aware about what the order is what is the order quantity and as per export order only contract acceptor should manufacture the batch and the there is a shelf life declared shelf life like 36 month 24 month so contract acceptor should follow the shelf life at least 95% shelf life should be in hand with the contract giver suppose if 
contact acceptor uh, acceptor has manufactured the batch 6 month before and he transported this batch to the US or Europe and during this transit if suppose 2 months loss then the shelf life will be very less in hand of the contract giver so contract giver very much aware about the shelf life transportation detail uh, raw material specification packaging material specification vendor acceptance criteria even the contract acceptor should declare his each and every uh, qms activity or qms uh, documentation to the contract giver even though the batch manufacturing record batch packing record should be approved by the contract giver if batch manufacturing record and batch packing record is not approved by the contract giver what will happen at the end of contract acceptors uh, contract acceptor if he has manufactured the batch and if he has added some steps there or he missed some steps there at the end the contract giver will be in trouble and he will be unaware about what are the steps he has followed or the contract acceptors has followed in his process so contract giver should be very clear precise accurate in his role he should be very clear transparent with the contract acceptors so contract acceptor should provide each and every details to the contract giver even though failures os out of specification ot stability failure incidence deviation change control kappa even if contract acceptor is changing any machines any batch size any packaging material or the component in the manufacturing process he should intimate to the contract giver if he has not intimated to the contract giver what will happen the contract acceptors will be uh, work at his own pattern and he may change anything in the process equipment batch size or something so contract giver will be unaware about all these things if we can say that the validated process the process should be validated because whatever the validated process the contract acceptor submitted to the contract giver only that process he has to follow he should not deviate or upgrade or modify any process in the contract agreement so he has to follow all the agreements and contract givers technical details so if they are not following all these details in the contract acceptance criteria so it means what may happen at the end of the day contract giver is not approved and so what may happen if the contract acceptors is not approved uh, the things may go wrong and at the end of the situation the contract acceptor will what do uh, he may use the unapproved vendor he may use the all packaging components uh, maybe cheap quality so quality should be precise quality should be standard and it is recorded inside the specification so that exact specification to be followed by the contract acceptors at the end of the uh, year if stability failure stability monitoring is there or any deviation with respect to the product quality or stability contract acceptor should intimate to the contract giver if suppose he is not intimating means he is not following the transparency also the contract acceptors should maintain the alcoa principle means all these things should be attributable original contemporaneous and attributable contemporaneous and accurate all these things should be he has to follow if he is not following all these things then there may be a chances to get anything wrong inside the process so the contract acceptor should be very clear about his roles and responsibilities with the specification now the thing is that how he can deliver the product to the uh, market so there is a, a market agreement method or we can say that market agreement marketing authorization agreement that agreement should be confirmed between both the parties if both the parties are not clear they are not deliver the product in a right manner so each and everything should be clear and uh, to be provided to the contract giver and if suppose contract giver is not giving any thing uh, clear guidance to the contract acceptors contract acceptor should communicate with the contract giver and he has to ask for what are the terms and condition for the marketing authorization 
बिकॉज इन द मार्केटिंग ऑथोराइजेशन ईच एंड एवरीथिंग शुड बी क्लियर एंड विदाउट देयर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दे शुड नॉट प्रोसीड फॉर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग आफ्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑल्सो दे हैव टू स्टोर द प्रोडक्ट इन ए गुड वे दे हैव टू फॉलो द स्टोरेज कंडीशन लाइक टेम्परेचर आर एच ऑल दिस कंडीशन शुड बी फॉलोड एनी डिस्क्रिप्शन एनी मीन्स डेविएशन टू द स्टोरेज कंडीशन ऑल्सो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्सेप्टर शुड गिव इंटीमेशन टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट गिवर so with this scenario contract acceptors can work with the contract giver and they have to be fix the timeline for the dispatch also the timeline for the transit if any uh, deviation to the timeline you know, for the dispatch or transit the contract giver may suffer from the product into the market so both parties should be very clear with respect to their job roles if they are not clear about their job role the situation may go wrong and at the end both the parties may suffer so to avoid all these types of discrepancy they should have a quality agreement in place and both the parties should sign that quality agreement that quality agreement determines that what is the role of the contract acceptor and what is the role of contract giver so both the parties should be aware and both the parties has follow both the rules and regulation so in this scenario you can uh, do the manufacturing with the third party manufacturing and in most of the cases third pack, third party manufacturing is very cheap because they are uh, only order uh, to the contract acceptors and contract acceptors can manufacture the drug so in this scenario contract giver should not maintain a huge facility cost like uh, hvac cost water system cost manpower cost instrument cost so there is a huge uh, you, we can say that uh, amount of saving in the product because the product is manufactured by someone and with the uh, minimum margin the third party can manufacture and it is sell to the uh, market by someone so in this scenario both the parties can do the win win situation and according to this contract acceptors procedure and contract givers uh, agreement both can work in the good way so in the gmp factor most of the european and us countries are giving orders or third party manufacturing is done with the many countries like africa and indian and other countries as well so this is about all the uh, briefing about the third party manufacturing hope you like this if you like please share like and comment on this video so that uh, we can we can uh, make more videos on the same topic thank you